man. Y'all looking good today. Fire pit still going. I let the babies out already this morning. And I even got five eggs out of them. Check this out. Look at the size of some of them too. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I got the fire going this morning. Feels good. Hey, this is my first rock that cracked, I guess, due to heat. Definitely. But I got all these rocks over here that I've still been sorting out of the dirt. And this is the biggest one I got out of there so far. I might put that one up there. <clears throat> but I drug three loads of dirt over here yesterday. And I've been sorting through, getting the rocks, getting the sticks out. I figure what I'm going to be able to do here soon is I'm going to be composting pretty much on the trails. The best dirt is going to be on the top of the trails. And eventually, I'm going to be dragging it out without all these rocks in it. And I'll come out here and pick these up later. Hey, the trails are looking good. I drug them for about maybe 30, 40 minutes yesterday. Nah, not that long. Maybe, well, no, maybe about that long. But they looking good. They're looking nice and smooth. No tripping hazards, I feel like. Came out yesterday, cut out all the uh, roots that were sticking up out the ground. But right now, there's no roots to be found. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. It's looking real good. Everything's starting to come together. And that's going to be a problem. Because with everything coming together, it's like, what do I do next? <laughs> hey, but I'm liking this, though. It's looking real good. I've been getting these roots and burning them, but they be having too much dirt on them. I'm gonna let them sit a little longer before I do that again. Cause the dirt just sitting in the bottom of the fire pit. See, getting some nice rocks out. Hey, I feel like I could just walk through my yard now and tell y'all what I done did. I don't have to go on a, a creek walk. I mean, I could do a 30 minute talk right here in my woods, right here in the backyard. Hey, it's looking good back here, y'all. It's looking real good. I remember when I had two trees right here and that big rock that's up by the fire pit. And I was figuring, how am I going to get that rock out? And as soon as I got Penny, that was like the first thing I did. It was unsafe coming back here to get that rock out. Back then it was. But now, I'm telling you, I feel like I can drive Penny back here and get anything out. Everything is so flat. I think my kids could easily ride their bikes back here now. Yep, bunch of rock right there. That's looking good. We drag it for a few more years. <laughs> it's just gonna look amazing now. It's gonna look like a slalom. Yep, hey, but let's get out here on this wall. I got some stuff to talk about. Let's get to the creek. Y'all stick with me. Yeah. Uh, good morning, y'all. Good morning, Shaw. Oh, uh, look at him. Oh, I can't see him. I be forgetting. I be getting video of stuff, and like when I seen that deer the other day, I was like, oh, that's so cool. It's a male. It's a buck right here in front of me. And then I looked at the footage, and it's like, dang, I can't see him. And I be feeling like it don't be no, it don't be worth showing it. Like if you can't see it, that's the one bad thing about using a GoPro. When you see something cool, it's just going to be you that sees it. Because the GoPro is not going to capture it. Now, if you're shooting in 4K, you can always go back and get a 4X zoom. But, boy, I tell you, it ain't nothing like being able to get right up on something, even if you're far away from it. Like a scope. <laughs> uh... Yep. I hang out with shooters. <laughs> Everybody marksman. No, I'm just playing. 
Hey, that's how I'm feeling today. I'm feeling on point. Got up early this morning, let the ducks out, got me a good fire going this morning. And what I'm saying is, I'm planning on hitting the pool as soon as I'm done with this walk. I'm on a good schedule this morning. I looked at my calendar. Hey, yesterday, my calendar was not working. Every time I turned it on, I just got like this spinning wheel, but it said Booksy. <laughs> it just said Booksy the whole time. And so I'm sitting there like, I don't know who I'm supposed to be looking for. And yesterday of all days, I get two new people. Two people who have never been to me before. So I didn't know who to contact or when. That's what's wrong. I feel like when you depend on technology, ooh, it can let you down. But how I feel, hey, we gonna fix it every single time. They called me, texted me, let me know they were there. I mean, that's the good thing. Everybody was like, door's locked. Hey, it's going to stay that way. I love the door being locked. Boy, you want to talk about lowering anxiety? Hey, when people can't get to you, anxiety be low. It's like, yeah, yeah, I know. I know your appointment is at what time it is, but just calm down. Somebody else is sitting in the chair. We'll be with you in a minute. People be like, oh, but, but uh, hey, it's like, if you got somewhere to be, you shouldn't have scheduled with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this ain't important to you, keep it moving because I feel like I try to put my best work out in every haircut. Hey, I'm serious. I, hey, I met a, one guy yesterday. He seemed to look like he was a little bit, you know, irritated because yesterday, I, it was an off day. I'm saying, when I say off, it wasn't off like I was off. I was on point. I mean, it shows. Look at my work. What I'm saying is with Booksy not working, I'm sitting here thinking like, I don't know who I'm looking for or what time you're going to be here. So people call or text and I'm like, all right, I didn't know I was supposed to be looking for you. I apologize. But one guy, he seemed like he was like not sure of what the service was going to be like just from the start of it. Had to stand outside for a few minutes longer. I'm sitting there thinking like, eh, man, let me show you what I do. <laughs> hey, I tell you. I'm the type of person, I get you in the chair and I start talking about what you're going to look like before I'm done. It's like I be predicting the future. That's what I'm saying. That's the one time. And I'm serious. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I didn't got comfortable. And I say this because what I'm saying by meaning comfortable is there used to be a time where I felt like I didn't know what I was doing. And somehow I miraculously would come to an ending. And that ending might take me a long time. It used to tell boy, people used to be like, man, your haircuts take forever. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. But I'm learning to understand this stuff. Now, I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I feel like I get carried through it. I don't know. It's like I just be patient with the hair and the hair tell me what need to go on. But I don't be feeling like I be knowing what I'm doing. Every haircut, it's like a, I ain't gonna say it's a guessing game. It's not, it's not, it's like, it's like, I don't know. I feel like the hair whisperer. It feel like it just talk to me and be like, lay me this way and cut me. Pull it up and cut me. <laughs> I'm tripping, I know what the heck I'm doing. I can't explain it. I, I feel like I could explain it if somebody was watching. I tried teaching it and it felt, woo. I felt like it, I, I realized people didn't want the information for real. They was just checking a box, some of them, or just trying to get to the money. And I'm like, hey, I want people to love this young. Even when, I'm in, when I got them in the chair, what I'm saying is, if you in the chair and you in a rush, you in the wrong chair. Remember, you got somewhere to be. You in a rush. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I am the destination. That's why my, I feel like my barber, my barbershop don't need to be no destination location. Like other things around it to pull you to it. What I'm saying is, I make sure people come in to see me intentionally. <laughs> intentionally. That's right. I ain't doing nothing but trying to boost people's confidence. I'm saying if I ain't making you look the best, 
you could possibly look, I'm gonna refer you to somebody else because it just ain't working for me, I guess. I don't know why I can't perform any better miracle. Because what I'm saying is if I'm giving my best, hey, that's what's there. And I do that every time somebody sit in the chair. You know? Ain't never in no rush. I don't care if I'm running late. I'm telling you, everybody who after you, they butts can wait. I don't care if I'm daggone in that boy eight uh, or super late. I don't know. There ain't gonna be no super eight. <laughs> ah. Oh yeah. I'm serious though. I feel like things going good in the barbershop right now. It feels like it. Hopefully, I have some people coming to work in the shop soon. I feel like that's what's coming. Oh yeah. I see some people starting to reach out and say what's up to me. I ain't heard from in a while. I'm always into that, loving it. Yep. So what I'm saying is, when I see people starting to go back through my timeline and check out where I'm, where I'm headed, of what I'm doing, I feel like that's just a matter of time. Before somebody be like, hey, I wanna come work with you. And what I'm saying is, that's how I figure it's gonna go. Instead of me running out, chasing people and putting out, hey, come work in my shop, what I'm saying is, I want people who see the benefit of working with me. If you don't see a benefit in working with me, what I'm saying is, there ain't no benefit in you working with me. And I'm serious, I feel like I gotta see the benefit in others too. Oh yeah, it can't be no troublemakers. I be telling people, you gotta know the difference between a liability and an asset. I like to say it the other way around, an asset and a liability. Yeah, let's talk positive. What I'm saying is, I feel like people can be that just as much as, as physical things. Cause war, you have a person in your life, it don't matter in what aspect. I'm serious, y'all. I look at business like everything else. It's all a type of relationship. And I'm saying, you can have negative relationships just as much as you can have positive relationships. If you have people in your life, even in your business world, who are making you or helping you grow, what I'm saying is, that's an asset. And I'm saying, even when you outgrow them, you still don't dag on separate yourself from them because you now are powerhouse assets <laughs> what I'm saying is I welcome anybody to come to grow what I'm saying don't stick if 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 what I'm saying is if you can be out the door and on your own let's get it that's what I feel because what I'm saying hey if everybody that I know racing to get to the top we gonna get there oh my goodness we getting there we racing to get to the top. What I'm saying is the people I know, if they move like me, first one to the top. <laughs> hey, pull everybody else up. That's how I feel. I'm on some Master P. Hang on, yeah. Everybody need to know what it feel to be at the top. I ain't trying to, I don't feel like everybody just, what I'm saying is if you wasn't racing to be at the top, <laughs> Sometimes people get tripped up along the way. That don't mean they don't deserve to be there. What I'm saying is, but people who ain't trying, what I'm saying is, when the top is met, if you ain't do no work, what that sound like? It sound like an old childhood story. I be telling my kids about the, the ant and the grasshopper. I be feeling like an ant like a monk. Yeah, if y'all only knew how small of an impact we actually have on the world. I think we would all feel like ants. But uh, if you think about it, there's an ant and a grasshopper. Ant working all summer long, trying to store food away, make sure he got a shelter, chilling. I mean, we're not chilling, but to me, that's chilling. <laughs> hey, kicking it, kicking it with a purpose, you know what I'm saying? Making sure you got everything tucked away and nestled away and. He providing for that winter. He know winter coming. He just don't know when. But he know it's coming. Hey, winters always come. Hey, winters don't stop coming. You just stop seeing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the point. So what I'm saying is, this ant, 
he out there, he working. Getting something done. Grasshopper come along. Hey, yeah. Let's go out and play, buddy. Like, come on, man. Hey, it's work to be done. It's work to be done. Like, come on, man. The weather's nice. Like, ah, can't play right now. Grasshopper go back off. Keep on having fun. Hey, make the long story short. Hey, winter came along. That grasshopper been playing all summer and fall. He ain't got no shelter, ain't got no food. He pull up on the grasshopper one more time. Hey, grasshopper. Or excuse me, he pulled up on the ant. Hey, ant. <laughs> Last time I was here, I needed some. I wanted somebody to play this time. I need some food and somewhere to stay. He's like, ugh. Kind of got a problem here. I've been storing food all that going summer long. So now I got very little room. Just enough for me. <laughs> oh my goodness. What I'm saying is, I stored enough food to make it through the winter. It's kind of a problem. I kind of stored just enough for me. See, I was working and I had to eat at the same time. I got kind of busy. Now we got a problem. Grasshopper pull up. He ain't prepared for nothing. See, and normally, that's how that story ends. Because it's one of those what do you do if you were the ant? But most people ain't the ant. Most people grass hopping like a mug. <laughs> and so everybody who's a grasshopper always answer, I would let them in. No, you wouldn't. It's just because you know you a grasshopper that you use that answer. Because when you work hard for something all your life, you don't just give it away. But people who ain't used to working hard, they quick to give things away. And then they work hard their whole life. <laughs> hey, what I'm saying is, now the new story go, Grasshopper mad. Grasshopper don't like that the ant told him, I wish I could help. Now the Grasshopper want to come back. <laughs> and act the fool. What I'm saying is, Now we can resort back to the real world. Grasshopper really come knocking on the ant colony in the middle of the winter, just in case we ain't got enough food. Hey, grasshopper end up on the table. Problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what I'm saying is, that's how I think. Yep, roll with a colony, everybody I know, taking care of me. So what I'm saying is, Catch me slipping. Ooh, it's them pimping. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> ah, well, I tell you, that's how strong an ant colony is, though. Ain't nothing meant running up on no ant colony. Look, even humans don't like running up on ant colonies. Get out of here. What I'm saying is probably one of the strongest forces in the world, ants. They literally can move Earth, like, not joking. And I said that like, not joking. <laughs> what I'm saying is, and look how they move. It's like they move in sync. It's like they all know how everybody think. They got a purpose and they move with that. That's amazing, ain't it? Yep. but poor grasshopper, always out partying. I feel like that is the problem with society today. Ooh partying i'm saying right now if you yeah i'm talking to me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. see look this is how this whole thing go it's like seven of me inside my head man stop telling them that okay 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 it's like six of me inside my head <laughs> i'm just glad I'm just glad. so anyway what i'm saying is i'll be having a conversation with myself so if you feel like i'm talking to you you know what I'm saying? You know how, how they how they say that? Hold on, wait. Oh. Hit dogs holler. <laughs> Throw a rock. <laughs> what I'm saying? Oh my goodness, am I causing problems this morning? Hey, I don't even know where I was going with that, so I'm glad we just changed directions. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I be having too much fun. I'm ready to get in that pool, y'all. Hey, I went skating last night, y'all. All right, so let me give y'all an update. New skates? Hey, them boys loose. What I'm saying, my old skates, they were getting this loose. Let's just put it like that. Like, my front wheels, when I lean, they rub the inside of my boot. I'm like, that brings me to a stop. I can't have that. So I ran up to the counter like, hey, can we get this fixed? And the first thing we had like, I don't know, it seemed like a 10 minute discussion. I feel like I missed two slow songs. Just, <laughs> I feel like I missed two slow songs. Just, <laughs> just talking about whether it was a scuff mark on my boot for my wheel or not. It's like, bro, I lean hard. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. I felt it when my wheel stopped. You ain't got to tell me. No, that's just, this. no. Feel it, you can put your fingernail in there. Wasn't nothing wrong with it. I wasn't arguing with him. He's just like, it's no way that's your wheel. I'm like, bro, do you not see how I skate? Come on now. So we tightened up my wheels a little bit yesterday and now my skates feel funny again. Now I'm slipping and tripping and I gotta tighten them up more. So what I decided I'm gonna start doing, hey, now I'm gonna start treating skating Kind of like I'm treating other things in my life. Since I'm starting to weed stuff out, like I'm stop, I'm trying to stop being all over the place with stuff and trying to pick my focuses. And skating is one of my focuses. It's always been one of my loves. Skating and barbering, like it's one of my loves. Yeah, that's just how it is. So I don't see changing up how I'm doing nothing in the barbershop. Now I need to get some more tools probably here soon. More blades. But I'm saying with my wheels, I can see adjusting them after I get done skating. Maybe sit up, adjust them a little bit, find them sweet spots. I don't know, but I ain't have to do this with my old ones. They just did what they did for like 20 some years. And I want to do that again. But I feel like if I took a little time and tweaked it and learned what I liked and how to keep my wheels exactly where I want them, maybe I'll get better the more I dive into it. I'm saying even last night, I felt like practicing some stuff. Like, I don't know. That's what I do sometimes. I get in the mood to learn a new move, practice a new move. And I practice some new stuff last night. Hey, I hit the ground a couple times last night though. But that's what I'm saying, learning new skates. But I feel like I'm getting better because even though the wheels are super loose, it's like, I mean, my front wheels and back wheels are super loose. Like, they lean. And I'm managing to stay with them. It's just tricky. But I'm gonna figure it out. That's what I do. But I had a good time skating last night. I missed all the slow songs. <laughs> and that ain't no problem to me. And I was getting my skates fixed for the slow songs. And then I was gone. But it don't matter. And my knee's starting to feel a little bit of a twinge. I don't know what I just did. It don't feel bad. It actually do. It feels like it got something to do with the weather now. Because yesterday, I felt nothing in it. And today, I don't feel nothing really. I mean, I don't know. Ugh. I don't see how I ever get tripped out here no more. It's like, I feel like I just didn't pick up my foot far enough. I should have known that was step 7,363. I gotta remember, lift right foot higher on 7,000 step. Okay, okay, note taken. That's what I'm saying, it's still kind of be wrong. I got, I got number, number five of me. I ain't named them all yet. He back in the back of my head with a, a tally machine. Every step he counted himself and giving me number. Where we at now? Eight thousand six hundred. Yep, that's perfect. Cause they're gonna, they're gonna think I normally trip me at eight thousand sixty three. All right, thanks, man. Hey, what you go by, man? <laughs> there will be no Kevin's in my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> Change that and get back to me, buddy. All right. 
I'm a fool, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 you are too. <laughs> oh, man. I'm starting to have way too much fun out here. Yep, pretty soon I'll be the introduce you out of everybody. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'll be having fun. I don't know what I'm doing, talking about or thinking about it. And I don't know why it's so funny, but in my head, it definitely is. Yeah. Whole bunch of jokes being told about y'all, huh? How do you know who we are? I'm talking to you. Yep. Red shirt. Listening to me sitting on the toilet. When I told you you'd <laughs> be doing something productive, I wasn't talking about taking a crap. Hey, but that is productive. Killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I can't smell it. And no, it ain't because of COVID. I ain't there. Hopefully you watching this weeks after I shot it. <laughs> I don't want to be nowhere near that odor. All right, all right. My bad, I hate singling people out and y'all stop laughing at it. <laughs> oh, I'll be tripping. Yep, but I'm about to get to the pool. We did good. 9,200. 85 steps, you sure? Hey, I need you to count that all over again. Yep, nope, every one of them. Count it over again. Get back to me. Yeah, you daggone right, you gonna have it before you go home for the day. <laughs> hey, I be talking to my clients. <laughs> oh man, they be telling me about work and I go right back to a military mind. I'm dead serious. What do you mean? You didn't go to work today. You had an option? Not in the military, you didn't. You went to sick call. <laughs> and they told you if you were capable of going to work or not. And if you didn't get a quarter slip, you went to work. I don't care what you felt like. I wonder how they dealing with that now with COVID. Like, I don't feel good. Okay, you stay home for two weeks. Ah, heck no, I guarantee that ain't happening. Hey, I need y'all all quarantined together. Y'all gonna clean the bathrooms that y'all that gonna messed up together. <laughs> they probably got a dorm for all COVID. You got COVID, go stay in this dorm. Somebody's gonna monitor you to make sure you don't go out to the club on the weekend. <laughs> oh, I can only imagine people getting up and be like, I got a temperature and I don't feel good. I think I need two weeks off work. <laughs> People getting Article 15s for beer, eight hours away, partying somewhere and getting caught on camera. Ah, oh, yeah. I can only imagine what this COVID is doing to the leave system right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Yep. How many people working from home? Ooh, you don't need to take leave if you're working from home. Yeah. Hey, yeah, holidays coming up. Thanksgiving, Christmas. Uh, I ain't working Thanksgiving Day. Uh, I don't know. You know what? The clients that I have that are regulars, if they wanted to see me Thanksgiving Day, I would, because it's like seeing family to me. I mean, they there. Every week. Or every two weeks. And I would hate. I don't know. I got some thinking to do on that one, y'all. Yep. Hey, if you sit in my chair today, oh, you won't see this, will you? No. Oh, yeah. So, give me your thoughts. But I might just work Thanksgiving. I don't really care. I mean... Wouldn't bother me at all. I would still be right at the house. <laughs> it's like working from home. Hey, uh, we didn't came to the end. I thank y'all for tuning in. Hey, once again, all of y'all, thank you for being a friend. Travel down the trail and back again. Your heart is true. <laughs> hey, y'all, some pals and some confidants. I appreciate y'all for listening. Hey. This your boy.
Much love, much respect. And I'm out.